question for y'all. How do you say milk? Is it milk or milk? Milk or milk? Milk. It's milk. It's milk. What sound does answer an I make? Com- answer in, in the milk. comments. Put it in the comments what you say. Milk. A is milk and B is milk. It's milk. With an E. Just sound. Who's right? Mac or Coke? Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of the Coakley Kitchen. I'm Mac. And I'm Coke. And today we have a recipe that only takes one dish, one pot. Mm. Almost no dishes. I love it. That's kind of why I chose it. We are going to be doing a one pot chicken bacon pesto pasta. Say that five times fast. <laughs> one pot chicken bacon pesto pasta. One pot chicken bacon pesto pasta. <laughs> so, um, its main components obviously are bacon and chicken, which we have right here in front of Mac. Mm-hmm. Uh, for our pasta base, we will be using some fettuccine mm-hmm. and some pesto. Uh, Mac, why don't you tell us about some of the spices? All right, so for spices today, we have some oregano, some salt nope. and pepper. Oh, it's organic. <laughs> <laughs> You're so confident. <laughs> so, uh, okay. okay. So for spices today, we have some garlic powder, not oregano, salt, pepper, and then we are gonna mince or like finely chop up these five, four cloves of garlic. It's like, yeah, four cloves of garlic. Um, and then we also have two onions. Exactly five ounces of spinach. Which I was so happy to find because that's exactly what it calls for. Yes. Exactly how much is in here. Yes. And then we also need five cups of milk. So that's why we got some milk over there. So first thing we have to do is we have to mince some garlic. Uh, After that, we have to slice some onions. Um, Everything else is all about measuring out. Uh, The first step is to cook the bacon. And then once that's all cooked and crispy, um, we add the chicken and the seasoning on top of that. Uh, and then we go from there. So yeah. that's what we will do right now. And we will see you at the stove. All right, guys, we're gonna start with some of that good old bacon, low bacon. sodium bacon. bacon. Just gonna slide it right here into the pot until it is crispy and brown. Looking good, looking good. You know, it feels like bacon cooks a little slower when it's not, when it's cut up. This might take a little bit, but that's okay. And guys, we are not removing the bacon. We are putting the chicken right in after. We're not draining any of the fat. Everything is staying in the pot, one pot. That's why this recipe is so great. You use the essence of every ingredient. So now enough of the fat has been drawn out of the bacon. So now it's all just kind of cooking together in one big cluster fudge of goodness. All right, guys, that should do it. Our bacon looks nice and crispy. So now we are going to put in our chicken. So how much chicken is that? Um, How much chicken are you supposed to put? I just kind of blind Two large chicken breasts. Now now the recipe calls for two boneless, uh, scandalous chicken breasts. However, I couldn't find the breasts themselves in the grocery store today, so I just went with some sliced uh, chicken breast cutlets. So these might actually cook faster than maybe the recipe calls for. And it might actually be a little more chicken than the recipe calls for, but that's okay. We like chicken. Good source of lean protein. All right, guys, the chicken is looking pretty damn good. So I'm gonna take it out and then we will put in the onions and the garlic. 
What goes in next? So now is the time where we add our two whole sliced onions and some garlic. I'm gonna put the garlic in first though. Right. So this is four minced uh, cloves of garlic and then two whole uh, sliced white onions. And we're gonna be cooking these until uh, until the onions are caramelized. So it might take a little time, but we'll get there. And after the onions are caramelized, we will then be adding the spinach. So we had a tiny malfunction where we forgot to put the spices onto the chicken. So I just sprinkled like half of this mixture onto the already cooked chicken and then I'll mix it around. And then we're just gonna dump the rest of it into the onions. No matter what, it'll all come together, so it's going to be delicious. Yeah. Alright guys, this is looking pretty damn good, pretty caramelized, so now we will be adding five ounces of spinach until the spinach is wilted. The wilting will make it. Oh, the wilting will make a difference. Yes. All right, guys, that looks nice and wilted. Now is the time to cool this pot down with five cups of milk. Crap, that was only four. <laughs> there we go. Now we will bring this to a boil before adding the fettuccine. It's starting to boil, it's boiling, it's boiling. Ooh. All right, the mixture is boiling and it was rising a minute ago too. That was a little scary. Mm, so. I do it. All right, guys, we're looking real good here. Just, a few, just uh, two, really three more steps. So, first thing we're gonna do, remember these guys, we're gonna return the chicken back to the pot and some stray things of bacon that found their way. Now for our final step, steps, we will be adding half a cup of pesto, one cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and you can add more uh, to garnish afterwards. So let's stir this in. Or toss it really. Are we done? And there you have it, guys. We will see you back at the table. All right, guys. Got the finished product here. Some one pot chicken bacon pesto pasta. Kind of fettuccine for you? In a way. Yeah, with that milk sauce. Yeah. Let's give it a whirl. Let's get a couple of. Uh, That's good. So we added a little bit more Parmesan on top. That's just a taste. And then we didn't have fresh parsley, but I'm not really you don't need it. a fan. You don't even need the extra anyway. Parmesan. Oh yeah, definitely yeah. not. I would recommend if you're yeah. just looking for an easy way to do kind of a fettuccine alfredo, this is it. 
I would just say make sure you use maybe a bigger pot um, so the fettuccine can cook. Um, we had to cook it a little longer um, than I than normal, but um, but it, I, I feel like if we had a bigger pot, it would have cooked a little and more maybe evenly. Maybe less pasta. We have a lot of leftovers now. That's good. Very balanced. Um, you know, the bacon is very, very subtle. Yeah, it is for being like the first thing that you put in this and the thing that's in there the longest. Um, so again, you don't remove it. You just, um, the bacon and the fat are cooking the entire time. So everything is infused in it. And yet, really as soon as you put the pesto in it, just the pesto just breaks through. We you think, Mac, 10 out of 10? Mm-hmm. So there you have it, guys. Yeah. Thank you for joining us um, on this episode of The Coco Kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you tune in next week. Uh, we don't know what we're making yet. Mm -mm. Um, or maybe we do. Uh, so next Saturday, we got a new episode dropping, so check it out. Check us out on Instagram, at The Coakley Kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, slide into our DMs, as always. Yeah. Or email us at The Coakley Kitchen at gmail.com uh, for any recipe suggestions or to just say hello. Yeah. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you will always be notified whenever we upload a new video. We try to do it at 3.30 every Saturday, but we're not perfect. We're human, so might be four o'clock might be on sundays you never know it's a gamble either way we will keep you posted um but yeah, yeah thank you guys so much for joining us and uh we'll see you next time yeah. peace peace